<laughs> all right, Lily. All right, Tate. Are you two ready? Are you two ready? Okay, be careful for little delightful emerald and apple over here, but go get it. <laughs> Tate, you were doing so good. And then he had to stop. That was so cute. He had to stop and play in the water on the way. Oh my gosh. Good job, Tate. Lily, do you want to, do you want to come get it? Go get it. Tate, did you just, oh my gosh. Tate caught it literally out of thin air. Uh, go get it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tate, you are doing so good. Good boy. Good boy. Oh my goodness. You're apparently very, very good at the throw bone game. Ah, but hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting. I am Zookeeper Siri and we are getting ready for a big project today here in Zudesia Zoo because it is going to be time to meet with Tata the Peafowl. And he has been up to quite a few tricks. As you guys know, he used to kind of hang out in our little river over there, which in retrospect is not the best place to let a peafowl just kind of chill. But as we started adding little slugs and snails into our yard, and trying to transform our home into a more uh, acceptable area for the ambient animals, it became clear that Tata, who is a little bit of a crossover uh, character from our niche series, was not going to be content to allow us to dwell in harmony. No, no. He taught the slugs and snails how to climb out of the, uh, the safety of our garden, and they ended up drowning in mass, which is why we have an entire slug royalty line uh, of course so I can't really complain too terribly much because Tata has pushed us to try to accept new challenges and create new plots from where once we may have said this is doom <laughs> so I, I really love that about having like Tata the trickster god is that whenever anything goes wrong we can say it's Tata's fault but instead of giving up it just encourages us to go ahead and try to create a new adventure out of it that being said i do think such a force needs to be contained and you guys may recall he snuck out of the garden a while ago he snuck straight out just poof left the place lala is still here Lala is another peafowl, and she is actually a peahen, as you guys can see. Kind of like I have recited my stalactites hold tight to the ceiling, and stalagmites might grow up to be big one day. Little poem for like years to you guys now. Uh, I hope I have also taught you another important fact that peafowl are the species name of the peacocks and peacocks are the males, peahens are the females. So Lala, because she does not have the vibrant tail feathers or coloring of the male, is currently a peahen and she leaves us adorable little eggs that we will have to hatch in the jungle in the future. Who knows, maybe there's even some albino peafowl hiding in those eggs and we can have a another arrival for the Cathedral of Light, Lala. Uh, but all right, so Tata escaped and I know where he is actually. And when I went to go see him, a wonderful plan opened itself up into my mind. What better way to contain such a trickster than to build a special space for him? A temple, you might say. So that's very exciting. Lily, you go ahead and sit, Tate. Tate, are you guarding Crumble's eggs? That is so cute, Tate. Oh my gosh, he's just sitting here. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. <laughs> he's like trying to warm up Crumble's eggs himself. That is so cute. All right, Tate, you can stay here and protect the little eggs. And I'm gonna show you guys where Tata is and the idea that I actually came up with how to contain his mischief and build an amazing, amazing addition to the zoo. Dun, dun, dun. All right, come along, Sunflower. Thank you once again for the millions of feathers that you continue to gift to me. Uh, but when he escaped, I was a little concerned. Like, where did he go? He could basically be anywhere. And I flew around on our golden chocobo for quite some time. I thought maybe he would be down where all of the ducks ended up going that we kicked off of the waterfall. So I checked and all of our waterfall ducks actually are fine. You can see there's a ton of them. Oh, this is so cool. I really should come down and put a whole bunch of lily pads so that they can get in and out of the water a lot easier. I think I probably will do that sometime soon. Uh, I need to make the rivers a little bit easier for some of the animals to traverse so that if they happen to get stuck in the water, they can get back out. Uh, so that's definitely something. Oh, there's a little moonworm over there. 
I had no idea that I tossed a little moonworm that away. Uh, there's a little sheep sheep. But Tata was not down here with all of our waterfall ducks. So I was a little concerned. I checked up in the Garden of Memories. I thought maybe he climbed. Maybe he climbed and managed to get himself up to the cookie tree. Uh, so I checked inside the Garden of Memories and Tata was not there. I checked over here thinking maybe he decided to come over to the dinosaur jungle which is now going to be kind of like the uh jungle of imagination where we will have our mini crossovers like uh the dodo and creeper chicks that martha has but he was not here uh so we do have a whole bunch of chickens that have escaped and decided to become cliff chickens i have no problem with that they are welcome to live out their little lives there if it brings them joy so I thought, did he go into the Village of Light? Uh, and no, he's not here with the bobs in the Village of Light. I worry that one of the bobs has escaped again. How, how that happens? I'm not really entirely sure, but it sure does. But at least we have one of the two bobs we made. And then as I began to worry, as I began to spin in circles on my chocobo, wondering if some ill fate had befallen Tata, I came over here. Ha ha! And there he is, still literally floating in midair as the little trickster that he is. Uh, there is Tata right there. I am 99% sure that is him. In fact, let's go give him a little poke. Tata? Yep, that's Tata, all right. All right, so that is Tata the trickster. <laughs> so we found him, guys! And he had begun to wiggle his way over to Mushroom Island. And that is where an idea formed in my mind. Clearly, he is a little bit of a dangerous creature to leave on his own. His tricks may become too much for us to contain. But I looked at him and I thought, that's brilliant. Floating on air, trying to make a path to the jungle. And what do we struggle with right now in Zudesia? Being able to make paths to get around the entire jungle. And something hit me. How could I appease the trickster god and hopefully keep him in one place so we knew where he was without keeping him in my garden anymore? And then I thought, what would his followers look like if we had a whole bunch of ambient animals roaming about, living near him? And a big idea erupted in my mind so bear with me but i want to build from where he is a rope bridge i want to make a rope bridge that is going to span from that path that leads to my house and we are going to stretch it all the way over to this chunk over here this little cliff is going to become known as tata's overlook we're going to make a little observation spot right about here where you can come and look over all of the peafowl since he has appeared as a peafowl in this era. Oh, and we're gonna have to get, well, that goat isn't actually in the peafowl zone, but this way he can look out over the peafowl and we might even make another little bridge so that you can like have a little observation above the peafowl there, which I think would be really cool. And then I actually want to have a, another bridge or another, oh, look at all the pineapple, the wild tropical gardens growing here. <gasps> we should definitely harvest those and have a little feast at some point in the near future. But then I want to come through the overlook and I actually want to follow this waterfall down and right there is where the gardens of Bob alarmed again. You can see the, uh, the, bamboo that we use to kind of mark off the area and keep Graveler in place. That's where the Gardens of Babylon are. So I thought, why don't we actually make a path going down and have Tata have his very own temple. We can kind of start, I noticed there's a little natural hollow over here. So I thought, what if we keep going and we make like a little temple to the trickster god, kind of where all of these cotton pieces are. And then he can look out over this lake. So he could have like a really cool lake view. We could put all sorts of torches and fancy things up so that he really feels like uh, he's got quite the temple going on. We could make it so you could really see his temple from the gardens of Babylon, where you can see Graveler over there. That's so cool. And then we could fill the area with his followers 
the lyre bird. The lyre bird who is able to mimic so many different creatures. I just thought that would be so much fun to be able to have lyre birds all over the place. So we would make a little trickster grotto basically. Grotto I think is how you say that word properly. And fill it with lyre birds which sounds so exciting. Hang on a second sunflower. Oh look and then see Ta-da! It would connect up to the paths leading you properly into our jungle exhibit. So I love it. it. It finally uses this space that I marked off years ago and had no idea what I was going to do with it. And now I know we're going to turn this awesome. Look, there's even a little pond for him over here. Oh, this is so cool. We can harvest all these leaves and kind of just scooch them up a little bit. This is so much fun. Oh, and this pond is actually made from the Mushroom Island. That's so cool. And then we would like carefully kind of block this area off so we could have a bunch of lyre birds all over the place. Uh, we might even make a little path over to the Garden of Babylon, maybe just with a bunch of lily pads to get over there. And then we could come down here. We could make a little beach area. Like we could clear all this away and maybe make a little cave uh, full of like lyre birds and then maybe make a path so that you could come up. Ugh, I really should be using my shears because I always need more leaves. But you could make a path to be able to come up and you could wander into the other parts of our jungle area. But I just thought that was so exciting because we don't have any lyre birds yet. And we could have a whole bunch of them follow him and we could build a fun temple, which would make a great decorative part of our zoo. And that wonderful rope bridge would actually offer a different kind of way to get over to the jungle area uh, that wouldn't involve having to go through the mountain. Because right now, to get to the jungle area, you have to go through the hummingbird exhibit, go all the way around and through the mountain and pop out that side. But having a cool rope bridge that would stretch from right there all the way over and then have like a path to lead you down, I thought that'd be really cool. And eventually we can actually use that little passage since I can't really walk by the cathedral anymore. It's very difficult. We could use that little passage to make another bridge from Mushroom Island over into that mountain because I wanted to build a mushroom tunnel, a mushroom mushroom tunnel where we can learn about all kinds of different mushrooms and have more mushroom roaming in the, the side of the tunnel where it kind of looks out over the jungle. Yeah, so there's a lot of plans and a lot to do, but that's why I was so excited to work on the woodworking area because it's going to involve making a big rope bridge and that's going to be a little bit of a challenge but i'm one i'm like really excited about oh tate look at you you are so cute oh my gosh but what i'm super excited about because i think we could do it really really well if we used slabs but can i use what kind of slabs can i use because i was oh fir wood actually looks really good pine wood Hellbark wood, uh, oak wood. Let's see. Oh, look at all of the stone slabs we could make. What? Look at this. Oh, the polyphorifi slabs actually would be fantastic. The ancient wood slabs. Those would be really good. How could I get ancient wood, actually? The ancient wood is one of my favorites, but I don't think you can actually grow it. Um... Yeah, recipe. Yeah. yeah, you can't grow ancient wood, but maybe one day I will be able to actually like trade ancient wood in exchange for some of ooh, and the ancient staffs. I keep forgetting about these. I need to make these one day. You guys are going to love what these do. They're kind of amazing. Um, but yeah, it looks like I can't make the ancient wood. But the other thing is we could also use the oak wood. Ooh, look at that wooden grate. What? Right click on with what? Hang on here. Wait, 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 wait. This could really change like everything for me. You are kidding. Oh my gosh. What? This is why just building random things is so much fun. You never know what you might stumble on. Right click with vines. Okay. Oh, wooden grates. They're made out of oak wood planks. Right click with vines to apply vines. Okay, we've got to test this out really quick, guys. This is essential. Like, is this really a fun little... Uh, okay. Glorious Grafter, if you could help me, huh? Wait a second. If I could put these grates sideways. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is even better! 
That was a complete accident. But if I can walk on it, it makes a fantastic rope bridge. And all we would need to do is just put like some, some ropes on either side. But this makes an amazing bridge material. I am so tickled. I didn't even know these existed. And now they're gonna like end up becoming something really cool. Can I... Okay, can I build with the grate? Can you put the grate on top of itself? Yeah, apparently I'm just having trouble with this spot. So I need to experiment. Kate, thank you for picking up all the grates. <laughs> but I kind of wanted to experiment with them. Let's go grab some different kinds of vines and do a quick experiment. Because can I put the vines sideways would be a question. Because then what we could do is we could grow the vines on the side of the rope bridge, which would be really cool. This was a complete accident, but a very fortuitous one. And is just a reminder at how the trickster god really encourages us to try to learn all sorts of new tricks. That's ground cover. Here's some normal vines. So we'll test that. The Swedish ivy, which is a type of vine, uh, and the Japanese ivy. Three of my favorite types of vines. So let's go ahead and test these and see what happens if we stick them on the grates. This is so cool. This could change how we build bridges everywhere. <gasps> That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Does this work? Does this work? Ah, it only works with the normal vines that uh, are like vanilla vines, but that's still amazing. And it looks like once you put them on it, okay, then to get them off, I wonder if they grow. I have no idea. This is so cool. So, I mean, what is this great for? This is so interesting. Irrigation channel. Can I put it? Oh, you can put it sideways so that it will grow and you will see the vines from below. So you can't see them from up top. You can see them under your feet while you walk past though. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. That is so much easier than the idea I was going to have in mind of, you know, making like a bazillion carpenter's blocks and then having to put down chiseled blocks. This is even better. This is amazing, guys. We're going to be able to build this little bridge in absolutely no time. Uh, let's actually go ahead and we're going to celebrate by finishing off today with a ton of things. Look at how many we can make so fast. Okay, this is awesome. Where did I put my oak wood? There it is. All right, and let's grab, we're just gonna turn all this into, boom. Look at all these grates, huzzah. Wow, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. We have stacks and stacks of the, these grates now. Okay, boom. We're gonna be able to build the rope bridge in no time with these. This is amazing. So there we go, guys. A new trick has been learned in the name of the trickster god. Now what I probably will want to do is find something. Oh, look at that moon setting. Oh, we have such a beautiful world. We have such, oh, hello, little Henrietti. We have such a beautiful world. Just look at that. I can't wait to have an observatory over there. That's gonna be amazing. Ah, and now the sun is going to be rising over the beautiful world that we have here. Oh, I love this. But all right, so we have our grates. And next, we're going to need to have some sort of like handrail so I don't fall to my doom, uh, which is going to involve maybe doing a little bit of exploring because now I'm kind of curious. Yeah, rail, rail, rail. I really want not a staircase end rail. I really want to be able to have maybe like a pole. Is there something I could put sideways? What on earth is that? A security fence pole. Oh my gosh. <laughs> kind of what I had in mind, but hey God. Security. I wonder, I could have sworn we have something that has like iron. All right, guys, we're going to have to do a little bit more poking because I clearly didn't know. Like, look at the iron bars and iron spikes. We might want to try out a couple different ideas before modern iron fence 
before I really commit to how we're going to build this. But this is going to be fantastic. It is going to lead to the Temple of Tata. And it is going to finally get us back into the zoo. And I'm so excited for when we surround the entire area full of lyre birds and get to talk about their amazing powers of mimicry. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Tata teaching us some new tricks uh, and for the hope that, oh, I should definitely make a pair of feather falling booties before we actually, um, you know, go and try to make this happen. Definitely something I should consider to do first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but we're going to try this out. So this is so exciting. But yeah, please leave a like for Tata's tricks or for Tate trying to help Crumbles hatch her eggs. That's kind of adorable too. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, you guys know what to do. And I will see you all next time. Stay curious.